strive to develop in Toastmasters, but to read a technical speech. It's basically reading. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of this document is to address the project load for the 2013 for the manufacturing facility. It will address current projects, confirmed projects, and proposed projects. The current projects are the completion, testing, and commissioning of the LR500 drill rig. The completion of the LR500 drill rig ancillary support items will also consist of the rig mover, two each skid mounted 900 volt compressor, 600 volt compressors, 600 volt gen sets, two each skid mounted quiet compressors, machining, fabricating, and assembly of the 6 and 5 8 drill rod assembly, the 15,000 gallon mud system, and the crane truck support vehicle. Other projects confirmed for 2013 are the refit of the LM120 drill rig, 14,000 feet of 7 inch RC drill rods, 14,000 feet of 5.5 inch drill rods, and 4 inch drill support water trucks. Proposed projects for 2013 are prototyping and finished construction of the LR-175, first article, the LM-700 drill rig, <coughs> reprogramming and resetting of control systems. The LR-500, the work on the LR-500 will be broken down into two sections <coughs> by the platform and by the mast. The platform of the LR500 is in its final stages of assembly. The VFD house, the drawworks, the hydraulic skid are all assembled to the platform and to the frame. The final fit up of the hydraulic piping hosing is scheduled to be completed by the first week of February. The mass pivots are scheduled to be line board at that time. This will require approximately two days of setup time two days of boring time, and one day of teardown and clean up from the line of, with the line boring equipment. The hydraulic jacks and outriggers will be installed by the end of the week of January 28th, enabling this drill rig for the first time to stand on its own feet. The platform can then be moved approximately 50 feet to the north over a testing hole that is in our yard. This will allow for dynamic testing of the feed system this, this is a prototype drill rig and it will allow it to be tested more thoroughly to work the bugs out before it goes to site. The more bugs that can be ironed out before it goes to its first project, the better it should perform and return its investment. The mast is, is painted, the lights are installed, and the crown is installed. The rotation head module is assembled and ready to be installed in the mast and will be done prior to the mast installation. The majority of the assembly of the mast will be done on the ground before the mast is assembled to the drill. This will ease access to the components and the speed of the assembly of all the components. It will require two 200 ton cranes to install the mast on the drill rig. The control cabin, sensors, and wiring testing will all be assembled in conjunction with the hydraulic system and the final components. Hydraulic and electrical testing will begin the third week of February, and this will be done in two stages. First, the auxiliary hydraulic system. This will allow all the hydraulic functions to be operated, pressure set, and flow set. The second includes bringing the gen sets, the VFD house, hydraulic systems online. This will allow full function of testing of all the operational features of the drill. Function testing and tuning is expected to take most of the month of March. The LR500 is scheduled to be on site and in production by the first week of April. The LR500 support items. And the work on the ancillary items will be done parallel to the time of the finished construction of the drill rig. 
First item is the rig movers. They're in their final stages of their fabrication and will be ready for wireless control testing mid-February. They are expected to attract quite a bit of attention and involvement from executive level people. <coughs> it's not every day that you get to play with an 80,000 pound Game Boy Control tracked vehicle. <laughs> there, are already, there are already several VP level people on the list. <coughs> Second item, the two inch 600 volt gen sets that provide the electro power for the drill. They need to be skid mounted and lift frames fabricated in them. Number three, the trailer mounted quiet compressors. They have to have the axles removed and the frames installed. Item number four is the drill rods, the 6 and 5 8 drill rods, which are the ne our next generation of reverse circulation drill rods. They will be a first article also, and they need to be finished machined and assembled. The first string will be a 5,000 foot string consisting of 250 th pieces of drill rod. <coughs> Just these rods alone are enough to keep our, half of our machine shop fully loaded up to April. Number five, the fabrication of the 15,000 gallon mud system. This will be a system that is dedicated to the LR500. <coughs> This is a copy of an existing system with complete build plans. Manufacture of the system will require 30 days to start to finish. Number six, the crane truck support vehicle. A, this is a standard national 1000 or 1100 crane mounted on a standard four axle truck. It will have one of our standard truck beds and heady heady racks and it. All items involved with the LR500 should be and out of the facility in mid-April. The other confirmed project for 2013, number one is the refit of the LM120 drill rig. This will include several certain items, including a complete teardown, sandblasting, and repainting of the drill rig, changing both the drive and deck engines to current production tier three emission standards and certifying the mass structure. Optional items include changing the hydraulics up to a load sense system, and engineering and installing a rod handling system. The level of the refit will depend upon time and budget money for this drill as we move into the project. This drill is in high demand and we want to keep it out in production, out of production as short as time as possible. Number two, we've got several thousand feet of seven inch and five and a half inch drill rod that are already in process. This will be <coughs> the other section will be busy and several welders busy through the end of the year. Number three, the water trucks. Four drill support water truck vehicles are scheduled to be built. These will have standard beds, poly water tanks, and they are built from tour plans. Two proposed projects for 2013 are number one, the LR Complete First Article. This drill rig is a big sized version of our standard LM140 drill rig. This will have an upsized hydraulics, certified mast, and possibly an all motorized carrier. The engineering levels are still in the stages, and the mast is already welded for the project, for the pro but the project is on hold up for review after the first quarter of this year. There is a possibility of an order of eight of these rigs to be built in this facility, but this depends on market demand and contracts. Number two, the LM700 rig up, reprogram, and control systems. There are projects and jobs for this, this our biggest drill in our fleet, but there, is concern, there has been concerns about the control systems from our drillers. It has been plagued with problems, and this stems from the program system, programming system. We have a company that specializes in this type of work and is willing to help us, and is re reasonably certain they can fix the issues. There will also be a shorter substructure built for this to allow better access to the rig and serviceability. In conclusion, with projects to be completed, confirmed projects, this is enough to take us through the third quarter of this year. 
This is all in addition to all the everyday work that comes into our service and our facility. The proposed projects would be enough to take us through 2014, just to start in 2013. So nobody should be bored. Thank you.